Hello, this is 8-Bit Rach, and welcome to another Amstrad game review. Looking at a game called Bugs Quest for Tapes today, and this is a special Amstrad game because it's brand new. In fact, it's so brand new, it's not generally available to the public yet. Um, it will be available on the sort of 23rd, 24th of October. It will be released on CPC Power, and I'll put a link in the description box, you know, to the actual game but like i said you can't download it yet so this game is programmed by a friend of mine phil or yellow belly as he's known in the amstrad community this is his first ever attempt at creating a game so hats off to him for even attempting it so let's have a look get the game started so you've even got a nice little cat screen there Ideal for people like me who still haven't set up that thing where it automatically runs. Uh, Bugs Quest for Tapes. Now, Bugs Quest for Tapes, the main character is based on Nova Bugs channel mascot. See him there on the title screen. Really nicely done, that screen. Nice use of colour. The music is Nova Bugs channel music. You'll hear it at the start of streams and things. And it is quite true to the original as well. See, so yeah, that's really nicely done. Dead impressed with that. So, see there, the aim of the game is you have to... I think there are 42 screens, if I remember rightly. You have to collect the tapes, guide bug around, collect the tapes, and make it up to the bug loft. And you'll see some of the features of the game there. The ladies of the night. Not to give too much away, but I look better in 8-bit than I do in real life. Say no more. So these are some of the enemies. And you might look at them and think... You might be left scratching your heads a bit. You would scratch it more than your heads if you, if you get hit by an itchy crab, won't you? But anyway. So these are sort of references to people within the community. And if you sort of... If you're not, if you don't go on those streams and you're not kind of involved, you will be like, I don't get it. I don't get the relevance. But it is kind of an in joke. So that's a bit of a forward from Phil there. And like I said, there were a few people involved in it, you know, sort of contributing to it. Phil did most of the programming and everything, but there were, you know. People did contribute to level design and helped with the music, so it's all in the credits there. And that's the great thing about the community, you know, everyone sort of pulls together and... Ooh, I like that. So let's get into the game properly. Okay, so the, key, the keys are ZX and space, only three keys. And. Oh. Straight away, you look at the game, it looks really nicely done. It's colourful. I like the animation on the sprites, you know, the detail, like the little bug's antennae as he runs and the little tails on the ghosts and what have you. It's really nicely done. It moves really well. The controls are smooth and responsive. And I like the jump mechanic. You can manoeuvre while you're in midair. And that's never a bad thing. So like I said, there are 42 screens. You have to collect... Well, you actually, you don't have to collect all the tapes. Um, you need to collect as many as possible. You know, for the best score at the end. And if you lose a life, you do get, you do lose one of your tapes as well. Now, if you look, you have 25 lives, and you might think, oh, that, that's a lot. And normally for me, if you get a lot of lives in a game, it kind of rings alarm bells, and that it's like a proper solid, impossible game. But this isn't actually. It's it's not a difficult game at all. But having said that, it, it's not an easy game. It is challenging. There are plenty of sort of tricky parts of the game where you can lose your lives. Especially if you're like me and you've got like 
hopeless timing and but yeah it's a very playable game and if just a word of warning if you do decide to sort of forego your tape you can't go back into the previous room to retrieve it so once you're through that door that's it it locks behind you so oh like i said it is a lot about time in this game there are some screens that are dead easy but sometimes you get a bit complacent and that's where sometimes you lose the lives because you're not looking what you're doing because you think it's going to be dead easy now there is an issue with some of the platforms and other people have mentioned it as well sometimes you drop through the platforms and i think it was said it's, it's if you drop from too far a height onto a platform that's moving downwards I have noticed sometimes as well, if you're on a downward moving platform, it doesn't always jump. But, oh, oh, missed it, bugger. I won't bother going back for it. But I'll be honest, that screen for me, it was like, it's... not that it's particularly a difficult screen, you know, with the platforms, it's just me, I've got, I can't wait me I'm too impatient and then I jump on them and I miss them and things cool there we go so yes it's I'm really impressed with this game oh mind the beeb We all know I like a bit of in-game music as well, so that's always a bonus, in it? Oh, there we go. So I've got nine tapes so far. Like I said, you, if you lose a life, you will lose one of your tapes. Plus, you have to start that room again. Right, so up we go. And we're on to level two. Yeah, it's, it's a nice little game, this. It's, it's, for me, it's the right level of difficulty, I think. It's, it's not particularly hard, but there are a few tricky bits. And I think because you get quite a few lives, you can afford to sort of take chances a bit more. So, you know, oh, oh, I didn't think I was going to make that one. And I don't know what it is. This was a room that I just never got to grips with. I think it's because I've got no time in me, honestly. I've got no shit. No sense of, oh. I was going to miss that then, sorry. No sense of timing. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever done it in one go before. So you've got the Grem box. I do like this level actually. It's like, you know, like a, I don't know what you'd call it, like a haunted wood type thing. Oh god, that was stupid. That was me, that. got a tendency to just rush sometimes instead of biding the time and just wait a minute there we go oh shit Twenty-three lives. I'm actually 
actually doing all right compared to what I normally do. Those ones are the platforms. I don't know what it is for me. It's a few sneaky little things. You don't know whether they're going to go through the platform sometimes or... It's just a matter of biding your time like a set. Oh, shit. Just goes at a nice speed. This is oh, bollocks. It doesn't slow down like a lot of games do. But not that I've noticed anyway. Oh, there we go. Now this is one. Oh, oh, that's all right. This is a room that gets me. It takes me a you know, couple of attempts to get past. First one then. Oh. Right, come on Rach, you can do this. I was doing so well, and look at that, there's five of my lives gone and relatively few screens. Come on now. Shit, it's always that bloody mushroom that does it. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. I want to get past this. I want to see, like, the next section of the game. And this is what I mean. It's, it's sometimes quite tricky, but things... I think different things are going to trick different people. It's always going to be the platforms with me. But, um... Come on, Rach. Ah. Right, come on. Oh, there we go, at last. Oh, mind the bats. I do like that you've got, then, quite a nice, easy screen after that, just to sort of give you a little bit of a... bit of a breather. Right, hang on. Oh, now you're all right. Leave it look, even Dizzy makes an appearance in the game. Oh, shit. So damned mushrooms again. Oh, that was me. That was stupid. Not looking what I was doing. Come on, right. Oh. So, should have mentioned actually, um, they actually created physical cassette copies of this game. There were 25, it was limited to 25, and they were auctioned off on Nova Bugs channel um, on his live stream on a Saturday a few weeks ago now. Um, and do you know what? Hats off to everyone. Two and a half thousand pounds was raised. You know, and there were some incredible don donations and, you know, and people chipped in saying, you know, even, you know, don't worry about the game, I'll just chip in a 10 or 20 quid, whatever, you know, just for the charity. And, you know, everyone pulled together. It was a great effort, fantastic effort. And there were physical copies auctioned on um, Sypho Stream. Well, it wasn't so much an auction. It was like if you donate two pounds or more, something you didn't get a copy. So there are copies out there. It has been made available, but it's not widely available to the public yet. 
I'm very pleased to say I've got my tape copy. I was buzzing, to be honest with you. This isn't the tape copy that I'm playing. This is Emulator. I have played it on the Amstrad. But, you know, me being... Me being me, I'm not sure how to get it all... You know, sort of linked up so that I can record off my telly. There he is, look, Yellow Belly himself, with his sword out. Oh! Not sure what happened there. Oh, I can't avoid this bastard now. Yeah, Yellow Belly with the sword out, and he does look like that in real life. He walks around and dressed like that in real life, I can confirm that. Oh, shit, I know. See, with me, it's just a handful of runes that catch me out. Uh. Oh, God, that was stupid. Come on, Rage. Get a grip. J oh, I jumped right into it then. Fuck's it. Right, my lives are into single digits now. Critical. I do like the themes of the level. You know, you the last one was like the haunted forest. You've got like the cityscape now. Do you know, I might just go up that ladder. I don't think I'm going to avoid that bat. So I'll forego that tape. There we go. See, it's still going at a good speed, even though you've got all these you know, sprites moving. And look at Andy. With her eight... With her thruppany bits out. Her eight bit thruppany bits. I can't confirm whether she's like that in real life. I'm sure she is just as lovely in real life. But what I mean is, I'm just, I don't know. I can't confirm whether she goes out getting her boobs out. Maybe she does. Right, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh. There's a lot going on here. Shit, which way do we go? Bollocks. I might leave that tape, I think. Can I? Can I jump on there? Yeah. Hey! In the seedy side of town now. Oh, mind the crabs. Oh, mind the willies. There we go. God, a pause then. Oh, look, it's me at the top. 8 bit rage. In a full 8 bit glory. Shit. Oh. And it is actually supposed to be me, and he did ask before he caught back me with me. Boobs out. And no, I didn't pose for the picture. Purely guesswork on his part. What else he's been spying on me? I'm not sure which. Oh, this is a bit tricky, this one. <clears throat> but again, it's the platforms. It's always the bloody platforms that do it for me. Oh, shit. Down to five lives, which is quite poor, I think. Uh, and there's Kate, the last of the, last but not least, I should say, of the lethal ladies of the night. And if I, oh, it's going to kill me if I jump, unless, oh, yeah, it does. Right. Oh, 
That was stupid. Alright, I need to just time this. Oh. Right, last life. Last life. Oh, done it. I think it'll be alright from now on. There we go. go. Like I said, there are, I think, 42 rooms, so it's a decent sized game, do you know what I mean? And it is, you know, it's, it's easily doable with that amount of lives. I mean, even at, with a bit of practice, I think even I could do it. I like the nice mix of, you know, there's tricky rooms, there's some rooms that are quite easy. But even the easy ones, like I said before, oh, there we are, three girls together. Um, yeah, some of the rooms, they are quite easy, but it kind of lulls you into a bit of a, oh, you're as dead as Eddie. Eight tapes. So in summary, I'd say... The game looks brilliant, it's some nice, you know, title screens. The colour's brilliant, it's a lovely colourful game. The presentation's great, the animation's good. It's the right level of difficulty. It's tricky enough, you know, but it's it's not stupidly hard. You, you stand a chance of finishing it. With a bit of practice, you can finish it. Um, there are a few, like I said at the start, there's a few references in the game to people in the community that you not necessarily understand. Um, but you don't need to understand them to enjoy the game. Some brilliant music throughout. It's just all nicely and neatly done. And I'm not just saying all this because I know the fella, but I'm just I'm really proud of him for you know creating this game, proud of everyone who contributed to it. So I'll put a link to CPC Power so that you can download the game for yourself and it Give it a go. Give it a go. Honestly, it is brilliant. And thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Try and out.